dear student in this module we learn several thing uh, and after studying this module you shall be able to know the following things number 1 know the splitting pattern of d orbitals in tetrahedral ligand field number 2 learn to calculate the value of crystal field stabilization energy for tetrahedral ligand field complexes number 3 analyze the differences between octahedral and tetrahedral fields and lastly we will understand the structure of uh, spinels the effect produced on application of the ligand field to the free metal ion has been greatly concerned to octahedral fields as the orientation of ligand and uh, orbitals in a complex in a tetrahed in a octahedral structures can be easily visualized however the tetrahedral and square planar geometries are frequently observed by the coordination complexes the geometry of the complex is different for different ligands as for a tetrahedral ligand field are situated opposite to each other that is at opposite corner of a cube therefore orbitals directed in between the ligand for octahedral orientation are now directed towards the ligands in the tetrahedral orientation and vice versa so the consequence of the difference between the octahedral and the tetrahedral ligand field actually is visualizes in the form of crystal field stabilization energy in this module we will discuss what happens if a metal is placed in a tetrahedral field of ligands as we know when a metal ion is exposed to an octahedral field the degeneracy of the d orbitals is lost they split up into lower energy t2g group which is characterized by orbitals whose lobes point between the ligands and a higher energy eg group characterized by orbitals whose lobes point toward the ligands in a tetrahedral field the ligands are sited at opposite corners of a cube which circumscribes the octahedron hence the orbitals with which are directed between the ligands in the octahedral field are now directed towards the ligands in the tetrahedral orientation similarly those orbitals which were first directed towards the ligands in the octahedral orientation are now directed between the ligands in a tetrahedral field Now we can see that the T2G set of dxy, dxz and dyz orbitals is at a higher energy end and the eg set of dz square and dx square y square orbitals is at lower energy for a tetrahedral arrangement of ligands. The splitting of the energy levels of the d orbitals in a tetrahedral field is given by the tetrahedral splitting parameter represented by delta t The value of tetrahedral splitting parameter delta t is equal to 4 by 9 times of delta naught that is octahedral ligand field splitting parameter. The tetrahedral ligand field splitting parameter 
is smaller as compared to octahedral ligand field splitting parameter. This is due to the fact that the relative degree of interaction between the point charge representing the ligand and the orbitals is small in the case of tetrahedral orientation as compared to the octahedral field. The important result is that the smaller value is not enough to stabilize unpaired electrons in the higher energy T2G orbitals when there are holes in the EG orbitals. Hence, tetrahedral complexes are always in the weak field limit. This causes all tetrahedral complexes to be high spin. The value of delta T is very very less as compared to pairing energy in ordinary complexes that is why high spin is favored. There are only 4 ligands in the tetrahedral complex and hence the ligand field reduces down to 2 pi third of the octahedral field. The direction of ligand approach in tetrahedral complex does not coincide with the d orbitals. This further reduces the field factor by 2 3. Therefore, delta t is roughly 4 by 9 times of delta naught. As a result, all tetrahedral complexes are high spin since the CFSE is normally smaller than the pairing energy. Hence, low spin configurations are rarely observed. Usually, if a very strong field ligand is present, the square planar geometry will be favored. The crystal field stabilization energy for tetrahedral complexes is calculated from the following equation 2. These can be used in discussions of the stability for the tetrahedral complexes. The crystal field stabilization energy for a tetrahedral complex is shown in the given table. The magnitude of crystal field splitting greatly depends upon four factors. First, nature of the ligand. Second, oxidation state of the metal ion. Third, transition series. And fourth, the geometry of the complexes. We will be discussing all these factors one by one. The magnitude of crystal field splitting greatly depends upon the nature of the ligand. If it is easier for a ligand to approach the metal ion and interact with it, then the value of the splitting for it will definitely be high. The ligands causing high value of splitting are called strong field ligands, whereas the complexes formed by them are termed as low spin complexes since they initiate spin pairing in the T2G level. The ligands for which value of splitting is low are called weak field ligands. The ligands are arranged in a spectrochemical series according to their ligand field strength. Oxidation state of the metal ion Higher the oxidation state of the metal ion higher will be the splitting value. The oxidation state defines the amount of ionic charge on the central metal ion which can interact with the ligand field. Thus, higher the ionic charge available for the interaction, higher will be the value of splitting.
if we consider the metal ions that belong to the same group and forming similar kind of complexes with the oxidation state for all the metal ions we will find that for the metal ion that belong to the 5d series has greater cft value as compared to the metal ions of 4d series also considering 3d series it further decreases down by 30 to 40 percent as compared to the 4d series the effect is basically attributed to the size and spatial arrangement of the orbitals under consideration the series shown on the slide describes decreasing cfse down the group cfse for the representative metal ion are shown in the table The, uh, the actual thing which we have uh, learned in this particular module. So, there are following uh, points which we have uh, learned. In the case of tetrahedral complexes, the approach of the ligands is in between the axes instead of along the axis as was the case for octahedral complexes. In case of tetrahedral uh, ligand field, T2G orbitals have higher energy compared to EG orbitals exactly opposite to that of octahedral complexes. The crystal field is very much weaker for tetrahedral complexes as compared to octahedral complexes and therefore the value of crystal field stabilization energy for tetrahedral complexes is about 4 divided by 9 times to that of octahedral complexes. In case of tetrahedral complexes, all the complexes formed are high spin irrespective of the splitting parameter because the value of crystal field stabilization energy is very small to such an extent that it is always less than the value of pairing energy. The magnitude of crystal field stabilization energy greatly depends on the ligand. Higher the oxidation state of the metal ion, higher will be the splitting value. The 5D series has greater CFSE value as compared to the metal ions of the 4D series, whereas 3D series has 30 to 40 percent less CFSE as compared to the 4D series. Spinels are the oxides of metals having formula Ab2O4 where A is a cation having one eighth of the octahedral holes and on the other hand B cation is in half octahedral holes. Some spinel crystallizes with the inverse spinel structure for example as in BAbO4.